Perhaps the richest paranormal area of the entire site is the secret wartime tunnels. These tunnels were heavily utilized during World War II, and it was here that the Dunkirk evacuation, codenamed Operation Dynamo, was coordinated. One of the most famous stories relating to Dover Castle is that of our drummer boy, our headless drummer boy. Many times people believe that they've seen the figure of the headless drummer boy uh, along Bell's Battery, and maybe more often they believe that they've heard the sound of his drum sounding the retreat. I was checking my fridges downstairs in the basement area and saw at the corner of my eye a person close for his doors up, no one there, checked round the back of the other fridge and there was no one there at all. The doors to the Great Hall started shaking incredibly violently, incredibly violently all of a sudden and I remember just looking up and just saying I'm really not in the mood right now, in quite a stern voice. And the doors stopped shaking. 